Hi boys and girls, this is Mrs. P and I'm going to read Judy Moody and Friends, Judy Moody Tooth Fairy, written by Megan McDonald and illustrated by Erwin Madrid. Chapter 1 Uth te eri fe. In pig Latin, that means tooth fairy. Recess. Judy Moody kicked the ball to Rocky. Rocky kicked the ball to Frank Pearl. Frank kicked the ball to Amy Namey. Jessica Finch ran into the circle and gave a wild kick. Yipes, stripes. The ball went flying through the air, hit a trash can, and rolled... Oh, no! Judy covered her eyes. She peeked through her fingers. The ball rolled right over to a bunch of kids, fifth graders. Jessica looked at Judy. Don't look at me, said Judy. I'm not getting it. Well, I'm not getting it, Rock, said Rocky and Frank at the same time. Me neither, said Amy. Oh. Jessica Finch took one baby step, two jumping jack steps, and three more baby steps. No giant steps. She wants it to take as long as possible. What's she doing, Frank asked. She's stalling, said Amy. She's afraid of the big kids, said Judy. Well, me too, said Frank. Me three, said Rocky. Oh my gosh. When Jessica came back, her face was so pale that her freckles stood out like chocolate chips in a cookie. Did you see a scary ghost or something, Judy asked? Didn't see. Heard, said Jessica. You heard a ghost, Rocky asked. Did the ghost say boo, Frank asked. Jessica shook her head and whispered, No, but I have to tell you something. Something I heard, something bad. And everybody leaned in closer. There's no such thing as the Uthte Eri Fae, she whispered in Pig Latin. What? There's no such thing as the Tooth Fairy, Judy said. Who says? asked Frank. Jessica pointed across the playground. A fifth grader, she croaked. Oh no, they're all so sad. Maybe you heard wrong, said Amy. Maybe they didn't say Tooth Fairy, said Judy. Maybe they said Bigfoot is hairy or Mr. Todd is getting married. Jessica crossed her arms. I know what I heard. But everybody knows there's a Tooth Fairy, said Amy Namey. She's a teeny tiny Tinkerbell who wears glasses flies around on butterfly wings and sprinkles fairy dust like glitter wherever she goes. And she has braces, Judy added. Shiny, sparkly braces. The tooth fairy has to have perfect teeth. She carries a wand made of silver dental floss, said Amy, and she's not afraid of the dentist. Her real name is Flossum Jetson, said Judy. Flossy for short. And when her wings get tired, she rides in a spaceship. No way, said Rocky. Everybody knows the Tooth Fairy is a dude. He looks like a pirate and has an eye patch and flies with a cape. Who else thinks that? I don't think that. And he carries a surfboard, Frank added. The Tooth Fairy is a superhero like the Captain of Underwear. The captain of underwear. I know because I just lost a tooth a few days ago. He opened his mouth wide and showed them the big gaping hole. Did you put it under your pillow? Jessica asked. Frank nodded. I got two dollars, two quarters, and sugarless gumdrops. See, that fifth grader was telling a big fat fib, Judy said. He's a fibber McGee. Everybody knows there's a tooth fairy for real and absolute positive. But her tummy did a little backflip. What if the big kid was right? What if the fifth grader knew something she didn't know?
she, Judy Moody, was in a mood. A bummed out, no tooth, no tooth fairy mood. Wait, just a flossom jets in second, she had an idea. It was as if she'd been sprinkled with fairy dust. She, Judy Moody, would put the tooth fairy to the test. All she needed was one loose tooth. Okay, we're going to stop right there, and next week we're going to come back and find out where she got a loose tooth. Chapter 2 will be open wide and say stink. <laughs> okay, bye boys and girls.